Hello guys and welcome to episode 61 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as the Wood Elves on very hard difficulty. This is Mortal Empires and today what we're going to be doing is defending Averheim against Liesl Bylaw. So let's jump in and fight this on the battle map. So in the last episode we did start the upgrade to the final level of the Oak of Ages and that's something that I guess has been a long time coming but I didn't expect all of the Beastmen armies to spawn. Um, so we ended up taking out a couple of Beastmen armies and now we've got one more to deal with. I think there's going to be more of those possibly in the future but either way here we are with this current battle. It's a much smaller battle than some of the others we've been having. I might be forced to take a defensive stance in this tree line area so let's go ahead and do that. I'll have all of our units line up like so. I'll have the tree can probably try and deal with their fast units. Okay we're gonna actually have the Hawk Rider and the Eagles take down the Vargeists. It's definitely something we can do. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll focus the one on the right first since it's got less health. And I guess if the uh, Devils of Schwarz Huff and get involved then we're going to be kind of screwed but we should be okay. Let's just uh, get all of the Hawk Riders involved. I'm pretty sure the Hawk Riders can do a lot of damage against Vargeist. I actually crushed them. Okay, I probably should have done this before, honestly. Alright, time to uh, clean up <laughs> these devils then. They have uh, come down into my Deepwood Scouts, which is kind of a pain in the bum. But, uh, we'll try and kite them the best we can. Not sure what we've been hit here by. Would have been nice to work that one out. Okay, Devil's definitely taking a lot of damage, chasing around my Deepwood Scouts. Have these three can come back. We're going to need to have them deal with the chill geists. Oh, there we go. We're all up in their face, and that is the flying unit is dead. Okay, good. All right, let's uh, get our stupid scouts back into position. We'll start shooting these chill guys from above. Here we go. The uh, treekin in there, start smashing Velux Reavers. Bowman, One of these just skeleton spearmen. Honestly, I might just get my eagle to come and attack those. And I'm going to get both marchers to fire at the chill guys. It's an easy target, and we can get rid of those sooner than later. Alright, they've run away, so we'll fire, fire at something else. Like the Varex Reavers, I think. Or even we could try and take out the Skeleton Spearmen here. That might be a good idea. Nice open target. Breaks up the, uh, the left flank there quite easily. Those Black Knights with Lancers and Barding are taking a lot of damage. It's doing a lot of damage here. Finish off this unit nice and quick, I think. Attack! 
slowly making these guys crumble, which is good. The eagle's taking a lot of damage, though, from that attack. I really don't like the Great Eagles. I, I, they're kind of supposed to be like a staple of like the Wood Elf roster, but honestly, they're kind of terrible. Right, what's happened here? My tree can have been absolutely annihilated. And this uh, Mortis engine has done a lot of damage to my forces, honestly. It's going to be worth just taking that out. If we can. I think it just does like that like, loads of damage over time. Probably should have focused that sooner. Looks like we are going to lose this battle in the end, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Take out this poor Nagash and we should be fine. Let's just come down into the zombies and the skeleton spearmen here. With the hawks. Maybe kill off a couple of units at least. Skeleton spearmen got killed. And the zombie should be dead now. Oh, that sounds absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's just, uh, oh, we were trying to kill it up, but um, that looks like all of our units fled. Yeah, I think this causes like fear and terror, which is kind of annoying, especially when it does damage as well over time. Mortis engines can be very, very powerful indeed. You can see it actually got itself 60 kills. We tried. Not to be though, unfortunately. So close defeat. They're just going to sack it. Okay, well I guess that's alright. Rather they sack it, because then if they attack it again, then... Oh wow. That just happened. <sighs> Goodbye, Luren. Guess I was due for a setback, right? <laughs> that was just crazy. Couldn't retreat because he was on like march stance, so Yeah. I thought honestly that we might have the auto resolve on that, but apparently not. <laughs> Shaven's under attack, we're gonna lose that. He is gonna raise it and he's gonna be on land, so we might have a battle against Sigvald in the next turn. Morga's going to be zooming away, but uh, we should be able to get up in their face. And uh, High Elves would like military access, but we are going to deny that. So, Nagaron's apparently strength rank 5, but they are being ran all over by... Ag hole right now. Every person asking me for diplomacy stuff at the end of the turn. Come on. Just wanted to speed it up here. I think it's definitely time to confederate with you after losing that last army. Looks like the... Yeah, they're going to attack us. Okay. 
there's potential here that we can win this, so I'm just going to quick save it and find it on the battle map. So we lost Lirin, <laughs> which uh, again, wasn't the best. <laughs> That's really, really frustrating. I knew that that army was strong, but I didn't think it was going to be strong enough to auto-resolve against my forces on the sea. So, yeah, we kind of got screwed over there. No chance to actually play it out. Uh, what I'm going to do is just get right up in their face, I think. I don't think there's any point being anywhere else. Although, engaging with my Treekin at the same time as the Dryad is probably a better idea. So we'll just have these guys in the group anyway, like so. And uh, we'll keep the Deepwood Scouts behind. Gonna have all of my flying forces just attack those fell bats in the sky. Wow, we annihilated their uh, their leadership there. That was crazy. That's some very dead fell bats. Weapons loose. All right, so we engaged them at the front, which is what the plan was. Get these guys to help out with the fell bats over here. Right, those fell bats are dead. Make sure we kill these fell bats. And uh, we'll have the Deepwood Scouts move back. Okay, good. Stop these guys from skirmishing. I need them to start shooting into the back of these melees. Especially into these skeleton spearmen that have surrounded my Treekin and Dryad there. We'll take them out if we can. Okay. Let's hunt! So all the bats are dead. Let's get the skeleton spearmen dead now. We're going to charge into them with everything we've got. Then we can change the targets of the Deepwood Scouts. So we got rid of the flanking attack there, which is good. Almost. <laughs> Surprised how well my eagle is actually doing in this one. Seems like eagles do well against light targets. Targets which don't have much armor or much attack ability, I guess. Swift! Go! Just go in for the uh, master necromancer here with the hawk, I think. Apparently I'm just trying to flank them on either side with the good scouts so I can get some good shots into the back of their formations. Straight away! Right into the back of that undead. Warriors of Ariel, tireless. Your command. Right, it's going to get to the point where I'm going to charge down the Hawk Riders into the back of these melees, and it should just break them and finish them off. I think. crumbled anyway. That is the rebellion dealt with. So
decisive victory. We barely took any damage, actually, <laughs> in all that. Skeleton and Spearmen just don't have very good attack value, especially against the high defense of the Treekin. Like the Treekin barely took any damage. And that's the rebellion dealt with. Okay. We're back down to 20,000, well, minus 20,000 a turn. Vaults of Winter. Aronok lies under the eternal summer sun, scarcely a knowing night. The guests of this mystical and radiant part of the forest have been feasting endlessly, fattening themselves for the coming sacrifice. We're going to continue gorging uh, for the actual income from all buildings. Alright. And uh, what we're going to do this turn is confederate with Drioth. Lord of Athaloran, I will not believe a word you say. But How much is our trade value worth? 400. Okay, well, that's where Drioth gone. And uh, mission aborted with that confederation. How All these I multiple armies are causing issues. Um, are so what I'm going to do is we'll sort of hold route both of them over towards Grad Cause of Findal. Um, My journey begins. The forest has spoken. Do that. Can I offer assistance? And we'll do this. Making my way. How can I assist you? Hmm. Glade Lord. Now we have a service. lot of units here that have that cost uh, amber, Proud which put us minus Lord. on amber. You call? I'm just going to get rid of some of Lady them. Of the, glade at your service. the worst you ones, called? the ones without any ranks. We can get rid of this guy. Lord of um, Findol. Attempted to keep. You need What's me? his ranks like, though? Where have they put the skills? I guess it's not too bad. They've made him like a charge army with his own strength and endurance, which is okay actually. And he's got growth of the forest, so this isn't he isn't skilled up too badly. Proud daughter of Athel. Got a couple of extra waste orcs out of that. Hmm. Lady of the Glade. Your orders are acceptable. Alright, let's just take these or give these to Findle for now. Anything is possible. Oh, why did I not give him the Way Watchers? I don't know. We'll get rid of those Way Watchers since they don't have any unit ranks. Same with those ones. Those wild red rangers, that is. We we'll keep some of them. We need How another minus one. Maybe I'll just boot these guys, even though they do have unit ranks, but we're not going to be able to switch them over this turn. So we'll just disband Ayarak. And that's going to leave Findol here, who I'm probably going to replace with uh, one of these new available lords. So I think we're going to go for Setashal, the actual Winds of Magic Power Reserve and melee attack. Then he has nine or eight skill points. I'm just going to put them into the Forest Raw, we'll get Everreach and Tendrils. And what else could we go for? Maybe we just get Swinging Bowels finished as well. Cool, so we're down to 25k. He can't recruit this turn because he's in Wild Roots Stance. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is probably get Varsio here out of the army. I would like to get a Spell Singer, so let's go for Recruit Hero. Can we get a Spell Singer somewhere? I don't think we can. I'm not sure I have the buildings. Let's have a look. Recruit hero. 
Now, none of these places I can recruit spell singers. We need the roots of Giran. This guy's costing me cash. He does have 10 ranks, but they're all kind of naff. So what we're going to do is uh, get rid of this guy. And I'm also tempted to get rid of this guy, depending on how good he is. He's got assault garrison and assault units. Uh, maybe we'll just use him on the campaign map. Uh, so where would we need him? Maybe up north? Actually, we'll probably deal with him, deal with stuff up north before we even get there. So we'll actually head him down south, I think. Sort of come round to the western badlands down here. Okay. Not bad. Um, the only issue with this is uh, this army is going to go on a bit of a rampage. Maldwin Barakmir. Uh, so it's going to be really up to uh, Ryan to like take Tabaro and destroy Skaven Blight. So let's go ahead and colonize this. And we'll go ahead and get the Astro Lookout. Then we'll move on to Skaven Blight and uh, destroy that. Uh, Dirthu is going to take Eshin. And we'll see that. Keep going with the Waystones. Just got to get rid of as much Vampiric Corruption as I can to sort out the Public Order per turn. We'll move on to Waldenhof and take that settlement. We need to go and take Fort Oberstar and uh, pick up Schwarzhafen as well. Again, just to decrease, decrease sorry, vampiric corruption across the board. Right, with uh, Sigvold on land here, and um, I think both of these armies are able to get in range, I think it's time to destroy Sigvold. Let's have a look at how strong those guys are. Where is the Warriors of Chaos? They are currently strength rank 2. Ooh, okay. So we're strength rank 1, I believe. So they're actually pretty damn strong. That's the first army that we've seen. Sigvald getting a bit ahead of himself. Uh, let's have Tatean come over here and, and finish off Morga. Morga's actually going to retreat. He is still in range, though, so easy done. Good job, Tatean. And is the Beastmen destroyed? Okay, now we'll move up back towards Rudy von Karstein. Just get rid of him. Meanwhile, increasing the melee attack and melee defense of all of my units. Great. Iskero is going to zoom over to Anguilla quick and uh, colonize that. And uh, yeah, we should be in a relatively good position. Strasleith is going to go and attack. Sigvald, but I need to make sure that Isratot is in range. So we'll go for the march for Isratot and uh, then we'll go for the attack. He's going to retreat. And that's kind of awkward because none of my units can actually catch up. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll just sort of make sure we're next to each other. To make sure we reinforce and uh, Sigvald won't really have anywhere to go I don't think. I'm not sure he can get back onto the sea over there. Right, with Kadak Zort taken over, uh, we're going to go for the Waystone and I'm actually going to have Zerko jump over to Zvorak and he will be the army that we use to take care of Maldwin Barakmir. Losing Luren on the water there was just so bad. Like. I didn't need to and uh, it's unfortunate but we've done the confederation now with Widrioth and one thing I need to do is actually look at the buildings in Widrioth and their settlement. Uh, what's their settlement called? The Crag Halls of Findol. I need to change out some of these uh, buildings. Uh, we already have the vineyard here but we don't have the uh, wine steward's cellar which increases the grapevine income by 40% in adjacent regions. So yeah, we definitely need that. We don't need like any of the military buildings, but we've got to sort this out. Let me just let me just check what we need. I'm pretty sure we can recruit everything we need to. 
I'm definitely going to go for the branches of gear and the canopy of Heish to increase the uh, hero capacity for spell singers. Um, so let's uh, get rid of the pastures of Skymark. I'm going to get rid of the Eerie. We'll keep the Forest Lookout and the Waywatcher's Perch. We'll keep the Eternal Watcher's Garrison and the Sky Crown Oak Walls. But we could probably go for the Grove of Luek because we don't need one of these here. We'll get rid of the Lookout because the Waywatcher's Perch gives us uh, extra hero capacity for Waystalkers. Um, right, what else? These give us Swift Shiver Shards and Glade Riders with Hagbane Tips. I'm not sure we need this. Depends what else we're going to build in its place. I don't think we need any of these military buildings, honestly. I'm going to keep the Waywatch's Perch again. Um, what about the Astrid Armory? We don't, we don't build War Dancers and we don't build Wild Riders in the settlement. So that's fine. So that's going to leave us five slots. Of which we're going to build the Roots of Garan to begin with, the Grove of Luek. We will get the Craftsman's Tree. We'll get the Vintner's Barrel House. That's four. And then we also need to build the Temple of Ereth Kael. Although actually there's only 10 Winds of Magic Power Reserve for all armies. I don't know. I think maybe the Elven Court would be better. What's the actual tax rate like in these settlements? 3,000. Okay, yeah. So an extra amount of tax would be uh, quite a lot. I'm not sure why the Chaos Corruption is so damn high. That's pretty ridiculous. Glad it's going down though. Uh, let's fix up Aberheim. And that's everything done. Brilliant. So it was, what was a couple of turbulent turns has turned out relatively well. I'm going to have to make sure that I remember to rebuild the different buildings across the world. I did delete a couple of... Uh, waystones didn't I in the other provinces so we're gonna to have to make sure that we rebuild those into other buildings I'll just check my province tab and go through it okay Rudy von Karstein is Zooming past the King's Glade, that's okay, because I'm going to be keeping the army that's chasing him there in the meantime, so that's perfectly fine by me. What's Sigvald going to do? He is actually going to attack us. <laughs> but he's gone for a lightning strike. Oh, okay. What's the terrain like? Because I might play this out. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> we'll just auto-resolve. Job done. Execute... Uh, Sigvald. <laughs> I love the way he's supposed to be, like, really good. And then we just, like, auto-resolve like that. Uh, Non-aggression packs is not what we want with the Dark Elves right now. I Actually, I guess we could get the uh, non-aggression packs. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. Why not? Okay, what's Osland up to? They're just gonna take their settlement there and the Necrock Brotherhood. They would like a trade agreement. I guess we can take that for now. We don't have any armies down there that are imminently going to attack the 
uh, Necrog Brotherhood. So, yeah, we can just chill for now, I think. I'd much rather secure the northern side where Archeon is coming down. Right, Pride Assassin. Post battle chance of stealing magic item plus 5% and income from all buildings in the local province. Nice. Kislev has been destroyed. Continue towards La Anguille. Uh, what I'm going to do is take La Anguille with this Gora, then we'll move over to Alhart and take that. We'll also take Blackstone Post actually. Uh, we'll take Grunberg and uh, work him back over towards the Oak of Ages, I guess. Oh, there's another army popped up. Brilliant. Uh, I guess we'll sort of leave uh, Rudy von Karstein to it then. And uh, we'll have Seto Shal and sort of recruit some more dudes. Uh, let's get into the Waterfall Palace if we can make it there. We cannot. Uh, but we have uh, more local recruitment available in this province. So we're going to go for three tree men. Probably going to get rid of these Eternal Guard. The Eternal Guard are actually relatively decent, but I'd much rather just have Dryads. Uh, we want to build the Grove of Lewick. We want to build the Roots of Givan. We want to build the Drathandor, actually. That's something that I've completely forgot about. That gives us plus 10% research rate and unlocks the Ancient of Drathandor uh, position. Now, uh, what does that Drathandor position give us, though? Extra unit experience in the Lord's Army. Oh, pretty terrible. Getting that earlier on would have been a nicer idea. I guess it's worth having just for the position though. Extra 100 unit experience on every unit per turn is pretty nice. Um, we'll get the Vintner's uh, Barrel House and what was the other thing we were going to get? Like the Elven Court, the extra 20% tax rate would be really nice. then so would the craftsman's tree. We're going to get rid of the dragon player and I'm going to get the craftsman's tree there. I don't necessarily want the elven healer's heart even though the replenishment is nice but we never use it in that settlement anyway. And what about these? I mean, are we building them? So confused. Let me go to Val's Anvil. We have the Temple of Isha there. We have the Temple of Anathrema there. We have the Temple of Erethkael there. Which one do we not have? So confused right now. Only one of this only one of this category can be built in each settlement. Can we stack the effects though? So we've already got the Temple of Erethkael there. So which one does that mean that we don't have? Because there is four of them. Anathrema, I think it's Temple of Kyrnos, because it only unlocks the technology. Right, so can we go for the Temple of Anathrema? Extra income from both battle loot, another plus 20%. Because that means that I'm actually looking at maybe getting rid of this one. And stacking that. Right, we could go up to like 60%, surely. Or even get another 10% casualty replenishment rate faction wide. Now, surely the hunting camp's kind of pointless here. Especially if we can get fair production using the hunter's vault. Right, we're just going to get rid of those two. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Right, Dirthu can take Wardenhoff. Let's just do that. 
and we will seed that. Fantastic. Get the uh, waystone building as soon as possible. And uh, that, guys, has unfortunately been my time. So in the next episode, what I'm going to do is look through my provinces and make sure that I've built everything that I need to. Um, we will be continuing the destruction of the vampires. We will be taking on more chaos armies, I assume. Uh, we've got to deal with the vampires down in the south. But we pretty much have the entire northern side of this continent under our control. It's just going to be whether or not these chaos armies prove too hard to deal with. But we'll find out in the future. In the meantime, that's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.